there, it's Amelia, and in this video, I'll show you how I fixed an audio issue when no sound was playing on my laptop. I'm using a Dell XPS 17 laptop, but you can use the same troubleshooting techniques on other types of laptops. Since I purchased my Dell XPS 17 laptop, there have been several times when the sound mysteriously stopped working. Sometimes it would happen randomly, and other times it happened after I had some devices disconnected if I had to take my laptop out of the office, or if a Windows update was applied. My setup might be different than yours, so I do want to mention that I have a Dell 19-inch monitor connected and no external speakers. So I do depend on the audio playing through my laptop speakers. The first time my sound stopped working, I did the usual reboot, but that did not fix the issue. Next, I did some online research, which is something else you can do. Some articles suggest reloading drivers, and I tried that as well. And they also recommend the usual cleanup and diagnostics, but unfortunately, none of that worked. Finally, I figured out the answer, which is actually a pretty simple solution. Here's what I did. You'll want to go to the control panel, and one way to get there is to press the Windows key on your keyboard, and then in the search box, search for control panel, and then select the control panel app. From the control panel, select hardware and sound, then select sound. From the sound dialog box in the playback tab here, you will see different devices which may vary depending on your setup and configuration. You should see speakers in the list, which are your system speakers, and any additional devices installed. In my case, this particular Dell item, which is listed here first, this Dell S2421HN, uh, which is the HD audio driver for display audio, was set up as a default option. And it looked like this. So at first glance, this made sense to me to be the setup as a default option. But with this setting selected as a default, I did not hear any sound from my computer. So the setting was incorrect. And here's how I discovered it. When I right clicked and selected test, which is something you want to do for all of your devices to test the sound, even though I saw these little horizontal bars moving up and down, I could not hear any sound from my computer. So I knew something was up. Next, I right clicked on this speakers option and I clicked test. This is the correct setting. And as you can hear from the test, you should hear a series of chime sounds. So you wanna make sure that speakers is set up as a default setting. If you have other speakers set up, you might have to check those devices as well. To set up this speaker's setting as a default device, you would right click and select set as default device. And you can try that with a variety of devices if you find that one particular device works better than the other. Again, you just wanna make sure that the green check mark is showing for the default device. And in my case, it's the device speakers. Click OK and exit from the control panel. Next, to make sure the sound is working properly, play a random video or audio file to test out your sound. I'm going to select an MP3 file with some music. Okay, I tested my sound and I know it works perfectly. If you need other troubleshooting options, here are a few other things you can do in case you need some alternatives. Another option is to contact Dell or the place where you purchase your computer from. When I started having problems, my laptop was still under warranty. So if your laptop is fairly new or you have an extended warranty, you might be able to contact Dell or the other company again, depending on where you bought your device from, and they may be able to remote control into your computer to troubleshoot. As a last resort, you can use a local computer tech shop 
which I've done in the past if problems were major, only after I've exhausted all other troubleshooting options. If you take your computer to a local repair shop, to me that would be a last resort because you usually have to leave your computer there overnight or more than a day and there's a fee for them to just run the diagnostics and provide a solution for you. The issue of no sound playing just recently happened to me again, but luckily the default option that I just showed you did the trick to fix it again. I can't explain why this happens, but it seems to happen again, as I mentioned earlier, after I disconnect some of the devices, if I'm taking my laptop out of the office, and when I reconnect, I'm assuming the default options change. So before you spend hours troubleshooting, check your default device in the control panel sound options, and be sure to right click and use the test option and hopefully that will help you correct your audio issue. That's it for today's video. Leave me a comment and let me know what default option you use for your sound or let me know if you have any questions. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Bye now.